So in all of the years that I've been doing lessons, whenever I mention motorways, people go, oh, scary. It sounds scary. It sounds like, oh my God, driving at 70 miles an hour is going to be mental. Motorway horror stories as well. You know that it's really fast. You know that there can be the potential for accidents on the motorway. But if we're driving safely and within the rules, then motorways are one of statistically the safest places to drive. So let's learn how to use them properly so that if you are not doing this with your driving instructor or friends and family, if this is the first time you're using motorways and you're on your own, you know what to do and you can keep yourself safe. So what's first? First of all, we're gonna learn about how to join motorways and this leads on nicely to the lesson that we did on dual carriageways. If you haven't seen that, click there and watch that one. Slip roads can be a little bit daunting. They might be a little bit tricky at first. So either practice this on a slower slip road, like the A3, A2, they all have slip roads and they're at a slower speed than a motorway, or go and take a lesson with a driving instructor if you're not confident. So three things that we have to do on a slip road, speed up, indicate, and find a gap. If you're doing 20 miles an hour to get onto a motorway, the traffic on the motorway is gonna have a massive speed difference to you. So you need to make sure that you're at a high enough speed so that you can join the traffic without impacting any cars around you. Number two, you need to indicate to join a motorway. Once you're on the slip road, start indicating nice and far back so that everybody on the motorway can see you. If there's not enough room for you to join, the car on your right might slow down, speed up, or change lanes into the next lane to help you join. Also, if you're on the motorway and you see a car coming down a slip road and they're joining at the same time as you, you might have to slow down, speed up or move across if it's clear to help them join. Number three, find a gap. If you're coming down a slip road, you need to have a look in your right mirror to see what's in lane one. Now, what's gonna be in your right mirror is a mad jumble mishmash of cars, but make sure that you just focus on lane one so that you can see what's coming down that lane and don't get distracted or confused by everything else in the other lanes. What you're also gonna do is just take a quick check over your shoulder because of the angle of most slip roads joining a motorway, what's on your right is going to be in your blind spot. So quick check, not all the way around because that's gonna encourage you to steer and we don't wanna steer out of control. Just a quick check, see what's over your shoulder before you join. So that's all you've gotta do. Speed up, indicate and find a gap, join. Once you're on the motorway, it's very small changes in direction. The smallest change of the steering wheel, it's going to have a big impact on your change of direction. So we don't do any jerky or wide turns on the steering wheel. Any small change in direction of the steering wheel is gonna result in quite a large change in direction of your car. And hey, the rest we can learn on the drive. 